We've got Mike Hayashi here to give us some great self-defense tips, especially for women with the holidays coming up. Self-defense expert is Mike Hayashi. He's a fifth degree black belt, and he's going to be here. Right, Mike? What exactly are you going to be teaching us? We're going to go into a few of my demonstrations of the Dirty Dozen. A couple of them real quick. If somebody grabs no! just like that, she comes back, no! just like that, and then no! down just Ooh. like that. Oh. We'll be back after I catch oh. my breath. She's tough. And Mike Hayashi is here with some self-defense expert tips for women, especially now that the holiday season is almost here. Make sure to join us on the next Your Life A to Z starting at 9 on 3TV, Arizona's Family. Use the top of your foot if you're going to kick the guy between the legs, which is kind of the, 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 the target everybody likes to think about. But if you're kicking, just bring the knee straight up and just snap. Bring it up and snap. So if a guy has maybe something at your throat and you want to take him off, you hold on to that, step back and go. No! Yes! Uh, just like that, and we'll show you more later. How does you? How do you do that, Mike? I don't know. He's. he's I meditate quite a bit. I, yeah, you take a lot of abuse. <laughs> Come back. Go. 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 No. Go. Go. No. Go. 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 No. Yes, just like that. Yes. Mike's passion for building self-esteem is exciting to watch and listen to as he performs for thousands across the country. He believes that every woman has the right and the ability to control her emotions her career, and her destiny. Since 1990, cities like Phoenix, Arizona have hosted large-scale seminars for the entire community. Thousands have participated with incredible results. It's time for a change. It's time for control. We can fight back. Meet Mike Hayashi. Number one is I call it a look. You need to start developing the don't mess with me look. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about? Most of us, most of us already have one of those looks. See, the problem with that look, and women are better at than men, the problem with that look is that you usually only use it on people that are close to you. Huh? Your husband or boyfriend gets that look first. If you've got kids, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You give that look to them every day because that look is it's a lot better than screaming at them all day long. Sometimes people at work, get, you know, they get on your nerves, you don't scream at Molly, you just give him that look. The kind of look that says, you know? Like if you step one more step closer, you say one more word, I'm gonna lose it. Uh, I have a black belt. But really, that doesn't mean anything, does it? Why? Because I don't put my suit on in the morning and put that black belt around my waist and say, hey, hey, you see this? I don't do that. Nobody knows I have a black belt unless I'm teaching a class and they happen to be in my class. I'll give you the perfect example, the last time you lost your car. Oh yeah, we've all done it. It's probably this Christmas, the last time you, you walked out of that mall and you thought, I think I'm down row G. I don't know why, but I think I'm down row G. So what are you doing? You're walking down row G with your arms loaded, looking for your car. You get to the end, it's not there. So you turn around and do the tiptoe number, right? Or worse yet, you start kind of looking over the cars because you know, I, I must've just missed it. What are you doing? You are telecasting. You are telling everyone around that can see you, this woman is lost. You know? And he's sitting against his car. Do you think you're on his list? Oh, you better believe it. You better believe it. You're at the top of the list. So I got a little suggestion for you because I know you'll lose your car again. You go down row G, it's not there. That's okay. You get to the end of the road, just kind of turn this way, go right down row H. No pause, no hesitation. Now, if you're going to take him, take him. So you need to add one more thing. And it doesn't come from your hands or your arms. It comes from inside. You need to say something while you're hitting him. The word is ya. Yeah. It's Y-A-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H. Right? You can't say it with your mouth closed. It, doesn't co it comes out ya. You can't say it with the southern drawl. It comes out ya yeah, ya. Yeah. Okay? You gotta open your mouth in a circle. It comes from the diaphragm, comes right up your chest, and you're screaming it towards him. Not for help, ya. Yeah. You're not screaming for You're screaming it at him. Now watch me do this. It comes right from down here, it comes up, and it's almost like it's jumping out towards him. Watch. Yeah! It comes out. All right? Just let's practice saying it without your hands. Ready? Breathe in. Just say it. Breathe in. Say it. Yeah! yeah! All right. Yes. <laughs> hey. Okay. One more time. Breathe in. Go. Yeah! All right. Now, some of you cut it off short. You went, yeah! That was enough, wasn't it? You cut it off. Don't cut it off. And some of you are yelling too high. You're going, yeah! Up there. Keep it low and yell it towards him. I want his hands, if they're grabbing you, to open, right? Shock him a little bit, so make it come out fast. Here we go, breathe in, go. Yeah! go. Yes, one more time, breathe in, go. Yeah! Yeah! One more time, now aim it towards me, up here, ready, breathe in, go. Yeah! 
Put the hands back up here. Now, when do you hit him? When he gets close enough. How do you find out if he's close enough? That's what this hand went out for. This is your range finder, all right? When you're touching him with his hand, guess what? He's close enough to hit. I don't care if you're touching his jacket or his hair. When, he, when you're touching this, now he's ready to hit. You don't hit him before. Here we go. Hands are up. Tighten the fingers up. When I say go, the hand pulls back, the shoulders and hips turn. You're thinking of pulling that hand, and the word comes out. Yeah, loud yell. Here we go. Ready? Wait a minute. And go. Yeah. Pull. Yeah. Pull it. Yeah. Pull. Yeah. Turn. Yeah. Turn. Yeah. What you're about to see happens every 90 seconds to a woman somewhere in this country. Violence not only affects the woman herself, but also costs her employer two and a half times her annual salary. This woman was a friend of mine and is one of the reasons I've been offering my self-defense seminars and products since 1986. We all need to stop living in denial before it's too late. In this country, during their life, one out of every three women will be attacked or raped. 50% of all women will be confronted with physical abuse or harassment at their place of work. Four out of five women who are sexually assaulted will know their attacker. Those are frightening statistics. Hello, I'm Martin Milner. Experts agree that crimes of sexual assault in this country have reached epidemic proportions. The media is making us more aware of this fact with news reports and feature stories. Most particularly chilling is the increase in rapes on our high school and college campuses. I don't care who he is, how big he is, what kind of drugs he's on, everyone has to breathe. Everyone has to breathe and he'll panic. We'll return to Mike in just a moment. You're watching a part of Mike Hayashi's training session called Take Control. Mike has developed a unique system for women to protect themselves against physical assault. He's been hired by companies and governmental agencies throughout the nation to make presentations to women employees. And up until now, his audience was limited to those who could attend system. in person. Mike was concerned for the millions of women who did not have access to his seminars. Hi, this is Mike Hayashi. My training sessions are meant to increase your awareness and teach people how to avoid, prevent, or even stop an assault. You and your associates will feel a change taking place as you educate yourself. It's a sense of anger and anxiety, but mostly empowerment. Women can, they should, and they must fight back. We all should know how to defend ourselves. That's why we are here with Mike, who is with Take Control Self-Defense, and you are an expert. You have 25 years experience, you're a black belt, and you go around all uh, over the place. Of course, I started when I was t about four years old. So. <laughs> and you teach people how to yeah, defend themselves. Exactly. But they don't need to be a b black belt or a specialist. You've got some simple tips that simple, anybody can simple, use. Simple, simple techniques. Take your hands, just okay. couple, okay? And just clap, just like that. Well, that vacuum you're forming right there, that vacuum you've thrown over the ears, just blows out the middle ear. So imagine this is the bad guy. You're in front of him. All you mm -hmm. need to do is pretend he's holding you or grabbing you. You let your arms come out to the sides like you've given up. I give up. Please don't hurt me. I give when up. you're ready, there's a target. Just clap. Boom. Ooh. All you do is form a vacuum, blow the ears out. <laughs> yeah, you and know, that's why I brought him. Well, I don't you want know, you doing it to me. Sometimes one of my biggest fears is being attacked from behind. Yeah, he's behind you. Great. Okay. Okay, so, so let's say this guy's behind you. He's right up against you. He's grabbed you. Your arms are pinned. But even if your arms are pinned to your sides, you can still do this little motion. The arm can still bend up and down. Right. So I call this a hammer fist. Hammer's down at the bottom here. You know where you're going for. So when you're ready, just lift up, go right where you want to go. <laughs> yeah, he's like gone. That. You <laughs> just want to make him let go of you. It's like, it's really deciding, you know what, she's not worth it. Let okay. her go. You know, don't go 10 rounds. Okay. 